Click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take from BigEdTaco.com and I am here at Masayoshi on Fraser Street in East Vancouver. And I'm also here with a good friend of mine, Leila. Hi. How you doing, Leila? I'm good. Very good. Excellent. Um, now, Leila, you are going to be featured in this video. How does that make you feel? Quite special. Quite, Quite special? special? Well, you are special, um, well, first of all, to me, because we are first um, Instagram friends, and that's yes. how we met. So the power of Instagram, very powerful. Um, you are known for your food photography, yes. right? And as I am known for my camera stuff, but we obviously do other things other than that, but I'm gonna feature you as a food photographer today. Thank you. Now, a little bit of your background. Um, you are by trade a web design, a graphic a designer? Designer. A a designer. designer. Yeah. And then from there you got into? Food photography. So I was in um, advertising and marketing design. Yeah. And then uh, when I was helping client to build the brand, yes. often they need images. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was fortunate enough to ask to uh, help them shoot some images. So um, it's also a passion of mine, so I said, why not? You got into food photography sort of not by choice. You weren't forced into it, obviously. But you actually have a very, and that's one of the things I noticed by Instagram feed, you had a very natural way of, of taking pictures of food. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of where we started bantering back and forth, yes. right, through comments, saying, oh, like, how did you do that? You just, because I tend to shoot very geometric, mm -hmm. and you have you shoot at certain angles that's like, wow, how does she do it? And you and I realized you said, oh, I have no schooling, mm -hmm. right? That's just kind of how you take pictures. I like the side view because then I can see the food more yes. clearly. Mm -hmm. I think overhead shots are amazing. Yes, but it's hard to see the food clearly. Like in terms of the depth. So I like then... to see the stack, especially there's layers and yes. colors, and you know I, I like to do a little bit of both, but it's fun. It's but some of your pictures, okay, so when we first, when we both first started, we were both using iPhones mostly. Yes. And you have transitioned because now, like you said, you're doing it a lot for, for work, for instance, for, for Masayoshi. Mm -hmm. So you're, uh, you design their website, you help them, you are running their Instagram account or helping them with the Instagram account. Yes. And as well, the pictures that are on the website. Is this all okay to yes. say? Yes. Definitely. Okay, very good. So, um, you know, not that an iPhone wouldn't work, but you have started using your X100. Yes. Right now, this isn't a plug for Fuji. I am reviewing the X Pro Two and the 35 F Two WR, but this is actually what you use. Yes. Right. That's primarily. That's what I normally use. This you use iPhone, and, but more lately has been Fuji. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. So explain. Let's do a little plug for Masayoshi. Sam. So why why did you pick here? I've been working with them in another restaurant for quite a few years yeah. and uh, we've developed a uh, really good working relationship. Mm. I've always trusted their food and um, the ethic and I do want to help them mm. to promote their business and their food is amazing That's right. and gorgeous. And is, everything is that is, why we're here? That's why we're here and it's all photo ready and I don't have to worry about restyling the dish because once Masayoshi put out the food, it's perfect. It's ready to we pointed to he's, yes, he's, and he's, he's busy. at the back there prepping. Hi, Masasang. Is he gonna? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> hello. Yeah. He's hard. He's he, he's very smiley, but when he's focused, you'll see very later on he's very intense. But he's a very smiley fellow. Yes. Uh, so we we'll, we will introduce him a little bit later, and then we'll see him at work. But uh, so you've worked with him in the past. Um, sushi is kind of a I wouldn't say easy thing to shoot, but it's room temperature. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful colors beautiful textures, so we'll see how you shoot that. Okay. okay, so Layla, a lot of your pictures on your feed, uh, at Layla, we'll put it somewhere, Layla, so it's at Layla Likes, we should talk about your account. Yeah. So at Layla Likes, we'll put it somewhere here, and as well as uh, at Masayoshi Sushi, yeah, at, on the account. But um, a lot of it is like you're out having coffee with your husband or your kids, or you're with your amazing foodie girlfriends yeah. and boyfriends shooting food and you mentioned like you have 10 seconds to make yeah. the decision to shoot and I actually think those are some of your best work because it's so impromptu now this is different this is a job you do uh, help them out with their website Instagram account so in terms of your approach so before we start shooting yeah. we kind of know what uh, Mas Masayoshi son is going to make for us yes. but already have you started thinking about about like lighting angles have you started thinking a little bit about how you how you how you approach the shoot 
Yes. Uh, so when I do the design for them, yes. I, I kind of know what shot they need mm -hmm. for a certain portrait or um, whether it's landscape mm -hmm. and um, what kind of action shot they need. Okay. And I do love taking action shot, not just the food photo, because I like telling, it's like telling a story. Okay. So once you start preparing the food, I'll start shooting. Okay. So preparation well, is preparation important? Preparation is important to yeah. me because I, it helps me understand the dish better as well. Okay. So I will try shooting while they're preparing. Very good. And. Uh, until they put out the dish on the table. Yeah. And by then, I already know half of the story, okay. which helps when I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, then he'll explain a little bit further about the dish. And Very just good. seeing him conceptualizing the idea and actually executing it perfectly on the dish is inspiring. So that's actually a little bit different than when you go to a coffee shop and you don't get to speak to the person that prepares it. Here, you actually get to see it being prepared. Even he explains. at a coffee shop, I do talk to them. Oh, I you ask do. them where the beans come oh, from. Oh, okay, okay. So I do ask them how, um, how they, everyone has different methods of making their pour over. Yes, So yes. I ask them what equipment they use. So yes. it, in a way, it's very similar. Okay. But I don't say it as much very on good. my feed. Yeah. But here, you really get to understand the process. Yeah. And, and she mentioned action pictures. So we will, okay, so we won't ruin the surprise. We'll see it as the... Yeah. Dish is being prepared. We'll see how she gets action shots of food. So we'll, we'll see that. So that I'm excited about that. And other than that, let's um, let's get shooting. It, it's, Definitely. I'll, I'll try my best to stay out of your way. No, we're fine. But I we like, want to see you work. I love shooting with you. That's oh, do you really? Here, so oh, very good. Do it and, and also one more thing too is that so we're gonna see you shooting not how you typically would shoot at a coffee shop. This is a little bit more uh, elaborate. We're yeah. using some. Uh, Maybe. Reflectors and stuff maybe, maybe. And, and maybe some assistance, yes. but that's just one way that you shoot. Yeah. There are other ways yes. and maybe we will feature that in the future episode perhaps. With my iPhone. Yes. With your iPhone. Very good. Alright, so let's let's get shooting. Let's let's, let's get going, Definitely. all right? making all three dishes, although we only see two here right now. We have Layla in the back, so uh, Masayoshi-san, Otsukure-sama-deshita. Arigatou gozaimashita. You did a fantastic job preparing all the dishes. One, two, and three behind us. But um, uh, I would love for you to explain to us, so we saw the process uh, of each dish, so please explain uh, each three. Maybe we'll start with the salad. Okay, this smoked salmon, smoked salmon salad yes. looks very, very simple. Yes. But uh, lots of detail in it. Dried anchovy and 
miso and vinegar in it. Oh wow! I'd like to I'd like to put uh, smoked flavor in vegetable as well. Yes. So that's the the salad, and then let's move on to what is this dish here? This is a grilled turban shell, sazae. And again, even this one here, you did something spectacular. You we you lit it, and I think hopefully Layla got a great shot of it. But you used uh, what, what was the, what was the alcohol you put in there? Uh, it's a absent. Absent, and then that's like what is that? Like eighty percent alcohol. It's a very high percentage because yeah. it lights like that, right? And now the creme de la creme. Wow. So this is what you are famous for. You are a sushi chef. And uh, you make other dishes, but this really is your passion. Yes, making sushi. So let's let's go over a lot of these. Probably people will look at it and they're familiar, right? So obviously taco, the octopus, octopus, right? And that is sakai salmon, sakai salmon, and then that will be squid, squid, okay, and that is shrimp, shrimp. But now the rest, the fancier ones. Explain a little bit. Start with whatever one you want to start with. Okay, start with ocean eel. Ocean eel. Simmered ocean eel. I open it, yes. then simmered. Yeah, we saw that you doing that process. So you get the head, the bones, you bake it, you create like a, you say dashi? Stock? You make yeah. a stock. stock. And then you put the eel in it for an hour and a half. So that's what you're doing back there. Oh, I didn't even realize it. Okay, so, and so Amen, I think we're all gonna fight to try that. Maybe we'll have to cut it into five little pieces. Yeah. So ocean eel takes the most time, in terms of length of time, yeah. almost two hours from beginning to end. Tamago is about how long? Uh, same, same, same as this one. The same, about two hours. Two hours. Oh wow, very good. So people just go and eat it like that, right? In like one second, but it took you two hours to prepare it. It's okay. What's good? Some of this stuff. Wow, it's a lot of work. I put shrimp. 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 Shrimp and mountain potato. You, you mince mince it? Yeah, grind. Oh, you grind? I grind. Yes. Into like a paste. Paste. And then you include that into your tamago. Tamago. A lot of work. Very good. Excellent. So now we're going to get... Um, so your job is done, Masa-san. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Take-san. You worked so hard to make these beautiful dishes. Now it is Layla's turn to make the food look as delicious as it will taste, right? Right, so that was, that was that was fun. That was lots of fun. It was amazing to see. Uh, well, first of all, amazing to see Masa-san working. Mm -hmm. He's uh, so intense, and yet he breaks out that smile once in a while. Yes. But as well for you, you 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 didn't even want to eat lunch. No, no. I, when I work, we, when we work, we forget about lunch. I when think we're so. Shooting, we Either that, or are you trying to buy your way I into the? Trying, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about it. So, we'll have to do this. So all of us, we're going to eat this later. This is so tough to have this in front of us. But it was really fun watching uh, Masa-sang prepare the food. Yeah. And it was great watching how you work. I get Thank to finally you. see your Thank secret. You. Thank you. Because I only see the finished product. I actually get to see how you shoot. So it was great seeing how you use the reflector mm -hmm. to bounce some of that light back. So clearly you like natural light. I love natural light, especially yeah. with food. And if you don't have reflector, you can always use napkins from the restaurants. Napkins? How about someone with a big white t-shirt? white t-shirt, yes. Or someone who's wearing a Colonel Sanders uniform? Yes. Anything that's white and white, reflects light? and then just get them to stand close by. Very good. In terms of post-processing, we won't go into too much detail, but I don't think you do too much post, no, do you? No, I don't. You keep uh, pretty clean. My, uh, my goal is to get the shot. Yes. As nice as, as close to what I want as possible. Yes. Everything else is pretty um, 
minimal. Pretty, pretty minimal, yeah. and that you can see that in your images. I like it really clean. Yeah. So uh, Masayoshi's uh, son's very dramatic. He likes this smoke coming out. He likes burning his food. There's like little burn marks along the edges. Yes. Um, he likes to. Um, what else did he do? Putting like the nigiri, the way he put his nigiri. Nigiri together. Way. He likes pretty things too. He loves edible flowers. Edible flowers. So um, it was really great. I had a, I had a good time. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's my honor. So thank you everyone for watching. This has been actually a collaboration of four uh, brands, myself and as well Layla, thank you very much. Oh, Layla okay. from Layla Likes and all your other brands. And as well as uh, Masa-san of uh, Masayoshi. And as well Ryan of Arcade Original. He's doing the, yeah, he's all that. He won't come on screen, but he is, did all the video work for you. So as well, he's doing all the cuts and the editing. So you'll see how slick this is. It doesn't look like a regular Big Ed Taco video. So you'll see why. So that's Arcade Original. So we're going to finish off with the click click. Mm -hmm. So we're going to invite uh, Masa-san. Do you mind coming in? Oh, very good. Excellent. So he's going to come in. So uh, we will... Probably do a collaboration again soon. Yeah. Masa san, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You Thanks, made such beautiful food here. But uh, we will do another video again soon. I hope so, yeah. So we're all finished off now with the click click. So ready? Everyone looking here, we'll talk to you soon and happy shooting. Click, click.